and welcome back to a new video. It's literally half past seven and I've really, I've just like realised, oh my god, I haven't done my video. Um, so I've got two tips. I've got some crystals. I bought some crystals from the Crystal Parade. Only two packets. So I wanted some rainbow colours because they're doing a competition. Um, I can't remember when it ends, the 15th or the 17th, something like that. They're, they're doing two nails, basically. Um, so these were the two nails that I'd done. And at the time I recorded them, these are some of the crystals that I've got. I picked these out of various mixes. Um, some of the mixes I've, I've bought, um, I bought some around Christmas time, but I've, I've not really used them because they're too nice to use on just tips that I'm probably just gonna not do anything with. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd use them for this, uh, this little giveaway they're doing. Um, so I'm gonna be using Onyx from Nelchemy. This is gonna be the base color of the first nail. I'm gonna do two thin coats of this. Onyx is obviously black. So you don't, when you're doing black gel polish, jack, black, I was gonna say jack, jack pell polish, jack, oh, flipping neck. Black gel polish is usually very pigmented. So if you do thin coats, that way the light from your LED lamp will be able to penetrate through the entire layer. And if it can't, if you make it too thick, then it's likely to wrinkle. So for this next bit, um, I did start to use a gel polish from Nelchemy called Shine Bright, which was from the Beautiful Minds collection. But I wanted it was it was quite glitter. It's got like glittery pieces in, and although Bewitch does as well, um, I wanted this bit to lie quite flat onto the nail. And also Bewitched is holographic, um, so that's really what I wanted so I switched from shine bright to bewitched but I still left whatever bit of shine bright I had on the nail I still left it on there so I've got this underneath in case we get any gaps then all you're going to see in the gaps is this beautiful holographic gel polish and I'm spreading this out with my Nat mug uh, Natalie Mugridge nail sugar detailer brush which is my favorite detailer brush ever so yes um we're just going to create our egg shape. So like all eggs, it's going to be a little bit narrower at the top and fatter at the bottom. Are all eggs like that actually? Maybe they're not. Maybe they're all different funny shapes. I don't know. But pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Then to secure our crystals, I've picked some out that I wanted and I, I put them, I placed them on a bit of paper. Um, but I've got Nelchemy's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. Um, I'm going to cover the whole egg. You don't want to go too mad with this but you want to make sure you've got enough on for the crystals to stick on and then what I'm going to do is I will pick out the crystals so my inspiration oh, I wanted to do something eastery turns out you they wanted a, a, an insect or an animal so I had to do another nail but this was my first thought I thought oh, I'll do an easter egg and I wanted it to be a really blingy easter egg and then um I thought because I used to work in a jeweler's and they used to sell Fabergé egg pendants and Fabergé eggs and they were just amazing and I thought right we're going to do some kind of Fabergé inspired eastery egg theme type nail um, which is you know how I came up with this I suppose um, so yeah so I've picked some colourful stones out because I wanted it to be colourful and then in between those bigger stones, I'm placing some really tiny AB crystals. Just to fill up some of the gap. The smaller AB crystals weren't from Crystal Parade. The bigger colourful ones were. Um, I'm also using these silver micro beads. So these are going to go in between any other spaces we've got. These aren't, I suppose they're not absolutely necessary. But... It makes it all look quite neat if you put some of these in, depending on the design, I think. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to pop some of these little micro beads around the egg. Oh, just, I love them already. They're so sparkly. I want to, um, I want to get some more crystals from the Crystal Parade when I get some more money. I don't know if you can see them very well. I'm just placing some of the beads around and in between the crystals. Are you tired, Teddy? He just done a massive yawn, bless him. And then once I'm once I'm happy with how it looks, can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I'm gonna pop that into the um 
it's an LED lamp I've got. I'm going to pop it into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. The gem glue cures for 60 seconds. It does cure with a... I don't think it's got a tacky layer, which is good. There we go. So that's the gems all in place. I was doing this for a little bit too long. You know when you just look at it and you get mesmerised? Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, that's so nice. I thought I'd stick a photo in so you can just... Yeah see a bit better if you want to pause it you can perhaps see what I've done uh, right so in this this was from nail sugar this is this was a tri-color nail art wheel it's got little different metallic bits in it I don't know that Karen's got them anymore um, but I'm picking out a little triangle a silver triangle thing that's gonna be like our pendant bail this is what the the chain would go through if it was a real pendant so I'm just putting the gem glue underneath that and I'm just going to straighten out a little bit more and then I'll pop that in the lamp just to flash cure. The good thing about these little metallic bits is it doesn't matter if you go over them with top coat. It's the crystals that you don't want to go over with the top coat otherwise they will lose their sparkle and that totally defeats the object. So now what I'm going to do is, using the gem glue, I'm going to create little lines where I want my, the, well, what the, the, pet, the chain would be, would go, sorry. And then I'm going to use the little silver beads in that tricolour nail art wheel to create the chain. And I'm picking up one or two at a time with that little tool. On the end of the tool, it's obviously still got some of the gem glue. So it's, they're going to stick to it, which is good. And then you want to make sure that they're close enough to get it. You don't really want any gaps with these, but you also want them to be nice and uh, like smooth. They, they want to run next to each other smoothly. Am I, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So it looks like it's all one chain. Yeah, so I'm going to put that in the lamp. Ta-da! I love that. I want that on my nail. Oh, I just want some bling. Then um, I'm going to use the non-white top coat. Um, you can go over the beads and the metal bits, as I said before. I don't know why I was trying to be careful initially. So just be careful with the crystals. If you want, you can use that the detailer brush to go around the outside edge just so that you don't go over the crystals. And then, once it's all covered, you can pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. If you've got um, a UV light, you'll need to cure them for two minutes, but an LED light is 30 seconds. There we go, so look at that though. Oh my days, I love that. Um, later on, I do I do buff it and go over it with some matte top coat because I thought it might enhance the sparkle. Um, but it, you can have it shiny or matte, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that is that one finished. I thought I'd show you another quick uh, photo. <laughs> now I'm going to use corn flour. Now, the other requirement of this giveaway was that you do a rainbow now um, for, you know, to show support for the NHS. So I thought I would keep it simple because... I mean, all my nails, I think, were quite simple. They weren't difficult. They weren't overly difficult because I'm not very good at crystal placement. It's something that I'm still trying to get good at. Um, and every time I see... I remember Scarlett done a crystal placement live in Nelkami when she was one of Nelkami's brand ambassadors. And, oh, God, I just fell in love with crystals then. And then... Um, I saw her the other day do another live, which is what how I found out about this little giveaway. Um, and it's just sort of reignited my love for all things sparkly, I think. Not not actually glitter, because I've always been in love with glitter, but crystals. Um, I don't use crystals very often in my sets, and I feel like I need to use them a little bit more. I, I knocked my... Once this was cured, I knocked it over, so it got some, f like, flick on it, fluff. So I had to wipe that off, but I'm using a little sponge and I've got salt stone on my palette and I'm using the sponge just to dab on some of the salt stone gel polish to create the, what look like clouds. 
Can you see that? It just gives that a really nice, like, cloud effect, <laughs> which I suppose is what we're going for. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. I, want, I don't want it completely covered in cloud. And then I'm just going to go over the bits, the clouds that I've done, just ever so slightly. Not all completely over it, or the bottom bit I do, but the rest I go over little, little areas. And then again, I'm going to pop that in the lamp. So these are the crystal. So I've got two mixes here. One of them was SS5s. And then the other was a mix that was lit. lit did I say crystal? I meant rainbow. There's, they're both rainbow mixes, but one is SS5s. And the other mix is mixed size sizes. I think that makes sense. Um, I'm going to use the crystal totalist gem glue again. And then on this, I'm going to create. I'm just going to create like a rainbow, like a really easy crystal rainbow. And I want my the bottom of my rainbow to be roughly there, maybe a little bit low down, depending on. Yeah, I, I wasn't too sure initially, and I, I wanted the top to be about here. I knew it would probably be slightly lower. It just depended on how many. I wasn't sure how many crystals I could get on each row, and um, also the rainbow is it Richard of York gave battle in vain red orange yellow green blue violet right I didn't have any orange no I don't know there was one color I didn't have see that looks like orange but I'm pretty sure I started with red because I had red colors and that was a pink that I thought was a red like a pinky color so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put like a line of red and I'm going to slightly slope it, obviously, because rainbows slope. And then I'm going to do yellow. Oh, yeah, I didn't use orange because I don't think I had it. I don't think I had enough smaller crystals. So I'm going to finish that line. Red, orange, no, red, yellow, green, blue and like a purpley color. I think I've done. I can't remember. Also, there was one crystal in the bottom row that was bigger than the others. And I can't believe I didn't notice at the time. Or maybe I did. Maybe I had to put that one in because I couldn't find a smaller one. But there we go. I'm just going to neaten them all up now so that they look nice and uniform. And then, once I'm happy, I will stick them in the lamp. Can you see that bigger crystal at the bottom? <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Never mind. Um, and then this mix is the Beautiful Minds mix that I got from, um, I've had this since last year. I'm sure they still do it. But in here they've got these really stunning big clear heart crystals. And because I literally love the NHS, I've always loved the NHS. I think it's absolutely brilliant. We get this, all right, we pay taxes and national insurance and stuff, but that NHS is free. We're lucky to have that because, you know, not many countries have a... You know, you have to pay for private health care and stuff. Anyway, so we're going to put a heart to show our appreciation. And we're going to put it at the top. It's like that. Just, I just literally wanted to keep this quite simple. And then, so I've cured that for 60 seconds. Then this one, I'm going to make matte. So again, make sure you don't go over the crystals. Can you hear my little boy in the background? He's so noisy. My other one's sitting right in front of me being really quiet, bless him. <laughs> Okay, so once I've done this, again, you can use your detailer brush to go around the any, you know, around the edges if you're a bit worried. Um, pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. This video probably won't go up till about nine o'clock now because I totally forgot it was Monday. Titty. I've got to edit it as well and get it uploaded. So hopefully that won't take too long. I'm really sorry it's late, guys. <laughs> Brain sieve. That is me. I faffed around a lot here. What was I doing? Anyway, pop that in the lamp. I'll get there eventually. I really like this one, Matt. It looked really nice. There we go. And that's that one finished. And then it's them both together. Oh, God, I wish I had that as a necklace. <laughs> I literally love these crystals. I want more. I'm obsessed now. I love Swarovski crystals. They are... Oh, love them. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already... Do consider subscribing because there's about 40% of you that watch my videos and you're not subscribed. So just click the subscribe button below. Do it now. Look, you can do it while you're, you know, while I'm showing off these blingy. Oh, I love that so much. There we go.
Look how sparkly they are. They're incredible. So head over to the Crystal Parade and check out their website as well because it's stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Anyway, happy Monday. Happy Easter Monday. I hope you've all had a nice weekend, even though we've been stuck in. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video.